Hello everyone. Welcome to One Decker Prenors. This is Dennis. This is a continuation of my video Forest for Beginners Part 3. In this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through downloading and setting up your MetaTrader 5 trading software on mobile phone. Before you even do this, you will need to create a demo account. If you don't know how to create a demo account, make sure you go back to the part 2 of this video series to see where I created a demo account. When you have created a demo account, you will receive an email with your details. You see MT5 demo account opened. I'm using Hot Forest. You could use any broker. Now you see your account number, your password, right? This is for investors password. That's um, if you want people to view what you are doing, you give them this one. They will only view it. They will not be able to change anything. So the most important details here is your account number, your demo account number, your traders password, and then the server, HF Markets Global Demo. All right. So these are the three things you need. Once you have this ready, it's time to download your MetaTrader 5 software and log in with these details. We are going to do that next on mobile phone. All right. So on your mobile, the first thing you want to do is to go to your app store and download MetaTrader 5 or for anyone you created account for if you have not already downloaded and installed so search for metatrader 5 so this is metatrader 5 right because i have already downloaded it i will just go ahead and open it so once you open it you will see other existing accounts if you have any so i have some accounts so you you know add many accounts here to add your demo account it's also the same for real account live account so to add your demo account tap on this plus sign and then it will ask you to find broker right type in the remember the server name hf start typing hf um, you know which is hot forest because that's the broker we are using just click on the the one with international okay you see it has live account and then demo account this time around you want to go for demo account so i will select demo right put in the login detail which is your account number mine is 480 and then put in your password all right so you see once you log in you will see your account this is the demo account and this 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 is the initial money we selected this one five five thousand usd right and of course your leverage is one is to 500 as you can see there so there are some things you would want to do to make your account the way you want you like it to be this is usually based on personal preferences right so but let me just show you around so you have to, if you click on account this tab there it will open up from quotes you will see all the currency pairs by default okay a few of them you may only see euro usd what i want to do is i want to add all the major currency pairs i want to trade so if you want to see the uh, currencies available to you the currency pairs and then other commodities click on this uh, plus sign you see you have a number of them forest indices features indices spot metals commodities even crypto right look at crypto bonds a whole lot you depending on your broker a whole lot they offer now i want to go to forest i want to get those major currency pairs we talked about in part one video of this video series so once you click on forest i want to add all the major currency pairs so tap on them if you tap on anyone it will be added i'm adding major currency pairs and also minor currency pairs so i keep on you see this this is an exotic pair like i i told you euro danish coin i don't like it so i don't thread this so um, i'll just take the so now i have all the major currency pairs and minor currency pairs i'll just click here to go back if i wanted crypto i would also go ahead and add crypto oh look at this this is an exotic pair so how do you remove it if you want to remove take out any of these currencies just click on this place you see what i did 
let me do it again if you want to remove any currency from here click on this then click on the trash symbol so anyone you click on now it will be highlighted so let me go down i don't like this is an exotic pair i don't like it exotic pair exotic pair so they are all off once you have selected all of them tap hit on the trash symbol again it's gone right so i now have all the currencies i want to thread another beautiful thing is this i can see the spread look at this spread is 30 spread is 66 i love to see the spread so that i know when to take a thread if the spread is not favorable i'm not gonna take that spread again we discussed this in part one of this video once i'm through with the currencies i want to thread just go back to this tab and let's work on the charts if you tap on the charts the first currency pairs on top will be shown by default so let's click on charts you see this is the chart of euro usd of course market close today today is saturday what i love to do is to customize this chart a kind of template to make it look the way i love to trade with it right before i do that i will just explain these things here so the first there is called this is called crosshair you use it to know the exact price where you want to enter or is it a thread for instance if you place a buy order here you could say okay i want to take my profit somewhere here so you use this to go up you will look at the right side the black sign there you will see the equivalent price so you will just put your stop your take profit there right so that's cross uh, that's what it's called tap on it again to disable it the next sign is indicators there you get your indicators we'll talk about these indicators later the trend oscillators volumes these are things that help your technical analysis the next one is we show you available currencies you could easily switch you see click on it you could switch to different charts the next one we open multiple windows okay so if you want to add another window you see you have to you could add more windows to see things from different perspectives okay you may want to have this one in one hour chart the other one in five minutes time frame the other one in four hours time frame or daily time frame right but i don't like i don't want two charts now so click on that place again to remove one so i tap on it i'm taking out one of them click on remove it goes the next one is for executing a thread so once you click on that plus sign you will be able to put in the lot size you want to thread remember lot size then put your take profit this is at the market price you want to exit with profit you may also put in stop loss at the point you want to exit this market uh, exit this market if it's going against you right then under you will see buy that's if you are placing a, a buy order if you want to go long once you hit on this you are in market sell if you want to go short once you hit on it your order will be filled the next is once you press any place on this chart it will bring out time frames for you to set to select you see you will see different time frames 15 minutes let's say i want it to go to 30 minutes i want to look at 30 minutes hit on m30 you see this is 30 minutes chart right then from here again you could see the indicators where you could you you could select indicator from this place too you can also see the crosshair here we talked about crosshair this will be setting to you know customize your charts this will be to grab some drawing tools you know you want to type something test to horizontal line vertical line to mark support and resistance there's something i love to do and that is to customize my chart the way it's gonna appear to me while threading to customize this chart hit on on the chart click on setting the setting symbol the first thing i want to do is i want to change the color of the candle right so i love to go straight to bull candle 
I love my bull candle, my bullish candle when it's going up, that's bull, to be green. You know, green is always lovely, good. And then my beer candle, that's when the price is going down. This one, I love to make it red so that I know that there is danger. Not danger because if you are if you are selling, it will be a good thing for you, right? But that's how I love it. Um, you could go ahead and customize the other elements of the chart. So hit on done. You see, now my candlesticks colors has changed. The next thing will be to drop some indicators. I love to use the moving average. I thread with the moving average alone. I love to use three moving averages, 200, 50, and 20. There will be a video explaining this moving average. Normally, you use it to you know, understand the market trend, to see how the market is doing at a particular level, if there is a pattern there, to know when to enter your trade. So to add the moving average, hit on the chart again, then click on this symbol. You can also get it from this place. So I'll go straight to moving average. There are a lot of them, all right? You will learn it later. So moving average. So 50, that's the first one. Or rather, let's, okay, let's begin with 200. And the color, I want to make it red. And I want to make it fat a bit. So 4 pz done. You see, you see the red, the red sign there, right? That is moving average. I'm going to add another one, which is 50. So to add a tap on this close sign, hit on moving average again. So 50. I love to give the color green. All right, so that's the green line you are seeing there. The next one I want to grab is the 20 moving average. So I will go back. You already know how it goes. Moving average, 20. Um, I like to make this um, a little bit pale yellow. So this and then done. So these are the three moving averages I use. All right, so um, this may not make a lot of sense, but in subsequent videos you will see how you could use moving average i have i am through with this this is a working template it means any charts any pair i am threading is gonna look like this um the next thing is to go ahead and explain these things here so this basically will take you to the quotes where you see the pairs so if you click on it you are back okay then this is charts the current chart you are working on if you click on it you are back this one will show you a breakdown of your thread that is running what is running what remains if you click on it you see balance equity free margin if you are if you are in a thread it will show you the breakdown here you will see profit which blue loss with red right so this we are gonna see it the other one this shows you your history right balance position orders this so this is history and the other one is more of news showing you news remember we talked about fundamental analysis so you, you may be able to get some information here that will help you with fundamental analysis and even sentiment analysis but more of fundamental and that's just that if you have done this you have configured a working metatrader 5 platform and you are ready to take threads if you it's either from signal or from your own analysis you just take your thread